Welcome to Recharge Garage. Today, I'm going to pull the top end off this uh, 2006 Kato 200EXE. Um, story goes, it fell over in a uh, puddle and uh, now it won't start. So, it's obviously it's probably going to need a top end or something, but we'll, uh, we'll dive into it and um, pull the engine down and see what goodies we can find in there. Right over at the stage where we just knocked the head off. So we'll uh, have a little look. Mm. What can we see? Plenty of slack in there, that's, see that. This all looks washed. So it may have had a little drink of water. Um, now we'll get to the specs with the base gasket when we're reassembling it. Basically, by the manual, the piston uh, to the top of the cylinder has to be zero. Um, if we're protruding, uh, we're going to be too high compression, uh, cause it to ping, pre-detonate, um, and if it's if you've got too big of a base gasket in it, uh, the piston will be too low, It'll give you a bit lower compression, you know, and not giving you the peak performance that it should be putting out. So basically, top dead center, and this should be exactly flush, which it feels like it's protruding a little bit. Um, KDMs have all different size base gaskets. So there's a range of base gaskets that you can put in it to adjust the cylinder height to match the piston. Because you go putting aftermarket pistons and things like that, they all have different crown heights. Um, they can vary a little bit, so it's good to pay attention to barrel height so you don't get any uh, pre detonation or anything could be bad but anyway we'll take the barrel off and check the crank and um, the rest of the cylinder So I'll just get this. I haven't touched this yet. I was just about to take the piston off and I'm just looking in there and I can't see a circlip in there holding that piston pin in. It's gone. Vanished. So maybe that's the cause of this groove. It's lucky it hasn't done more damage. Anyway, well that saves me taking it out. I'll just pop it out now. There's a nice groove. Take it outside. Nice groove in the cylinder. She's a re-chrome job, so unfortunately, it's going to get expensive. Uh, we'll knock the piston off and check the rod, but I think she's going to be the she's going to get the full job. Right, got the piston off, which that didn't take too much since it was missing a circlip. Um, but anyway, so we're going to check the con rod. Already I can feel it's notchy on the crank bearings. Um, so what we're looking for is, you know, the side thrust there. It's got quite a bit. And twist. So if you can just get the rod and just like twist it 
from side to side which it, it's got it's got a bit of twist don't know if you can see it but she's toast so she's going to need a rod and crank bearings it's just lumpy horrible got the engine out um, we'll split it apart get the crank down to the machinist so you can press a new rod kit into the crank there got some new crank bearings and everything there we'll get those fitted into the cases we'll give them a clean up um, inspect all the gearbox and clutch pack and things like that just make sure no water's gotten into there into the uh, into the gearbox um, can get in through the um, crankcase breather so depends how long it was laying upside down in the water for but we'll, um, we'll check all that out um, plus we'll give the carby a bit of a clean out as well while we're here uh, removed it it's got some nice stuff going on inside that so we'll give that a clean out um, also I'll show you later uh, we'll give the airbox and everything a good wash out it's full of uh, pebbles and all sorts of things grass and leaves and stuff um, so yeah let's get into it I'll give you some nice uh, montage music to listen to We're all ready to reassemble, at least the bottom end anyway. Giving the cases a bit of a clean up. Got some uh, new crank bearings in there. Um, and I replaced the uh, one of the gearbox bearings there on the sprocket side. Um, you can see I've popped the rubber seal out on the inside of the gearbox because we'll get oil from there. But I've left that rubber seal in, maybe. That might protect a bit of, if the uh, sprocket shaft seal leaks or something like that. Stop a bit of shit getting into the bearing. Uh, i got a nice new rod kit fitted up there. So we'll get the bottom end back together. But, uh, it's just like a big jigsaw puzzle. I don't know if you were any good at jigsaw puzzles when you were younger. I don't know, I think I was shit at them. But, uh, Anyway, we'll put this back together. And just like that, back together again. Uh, so that all went to, together pretty good. Give the car be a bit of a clean out. There was much uh, dirt inside it than there was on the outside of it. So lucky we cleaned that out. Uh, we'll just wait for the barrel to come back uh, from Electrosil. It should be here in a couple of days. And uh, I'm not going to put it back in the frame just yet because I think it'd be easier to set the piston height with the uh, base gasket uh, thickness here. So we've got a couple of base gaskets there to choose from. But we'll slip it together and measure it up then. Okay, next step. Uh, we've got different size base gaskets on these KDMs um, kits come with a 0.5 uh, this is a 0.3 that's in it now uh, the one that come out of it was a 0.3 I measured it you know just with some digital verniers uh, so we're going to put it back together with a 0.3 
stick the barrel on there and then we'll measure the piston height make sure it's not protruding out of the cylinder uh, manual says 2003 onwards it's got to be zero zero deck height so piston up to the top measures zero so we'll uh, stick this uh, cylinder on we'll lube it all up and uh, go from there cylinder beautiful Little wiggle. All right. That's basically top dead center there. And basically <coughs> that. Zeroed it. If I zeroed it. Would be right. And 0.01. I mean, I'm not going to argue with that. That's sounds good to me. So I'm happy with that. Uh, everything's all back together. Power valve wires, cleaned all that out. They're all just nipped up, so we'll go ahead and uh, bang the motor back in the frame, and uh, then I'll put the cylinder head on and torque it in the frame because it's easier to, for the frame to hang on to the engine rather than me trying to wrestle it on the bench here and try and do the cylinder head up tight. But uh, yeah, we'll stick it back in the frame and go from there. Tap it in.
it's all back together. Motor's back in, everything's bolted on. Uh, I guess all that's left to do now is uh, kick her in the guts. This is the first fire up. So, so here we go. too much oil in the crankshaft there, a bit of prelude, but more is better than none at all. So there you have it, she runs, sounds really nice, as it, you would expect, new top end, new bottom end crankshaft bearings, all the rest of it, sounds really uh, crisp. So um, yeah, just to, just remember, with these KDM two strokes, uh, base gasket thickness, piston crown height, make sure you get it right. Um, just with piston selection, aftermarket, genuine, whatever, just need to check it. Um, you want to get your optimum performance out of these things, so uh, you know, it pays to check. Yeah, so uh, anyway, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.